Let's talk about internet copyright. Uh, other YouTubers dealing with copyright claims that are ridiculous. This channel may not even be around by the time I get done recording this video. Open Gangnam Style. I am not an attorney. So apparently, Jeremy, the head of Geeks and Gamers, and a few other folks within the greater fandom menace seem to have run afoul of the YouTube copyright system. It seems like uh, they've been copyright struck, and uh, yeah, let's just go right to Jeremy. I did absolutely nothing wrong in the live stream that was false flagged and claimed, yet my video got struck, and I got a strike on the channel. The video taken down and I cannot live stream. And if I get two more strikes, the channel goes away. And I have videos on the channel by the precedent that was set there that says, hey, we can take these down too. Well, I'm not deleting those videos. I'm not removing anything. And I will go down with this ship because I have done nothing wrong and I refuse to compromise my channel, my opinions, because someone is using their abuse of power to take down people's opinions. It's not going to happen, and I'm not the only one. So again, there's a lot of moving parts here. We have also identified the company. Uh, well, I didn't identify the company. Mr. H Reviews, I believe, is the first person that really picked apart this company that claimed these videos. But I did find their Twitter account, and I found their CEO, and there's something kind of interesting, kind of interesting about the CEO, and we're going to talk about that here in just a minute, at least his profile. Here Jeremy's bringing up a very important point, and this has been a thing for YouTubers for a long time. It's just, all right, if all of a sudden your video gets taken down, your stream gets taken down, what is the reasoning? Often it's very unclear, and that can be very unsettling. Yeah, it might cite something within the terms of service, but could you at least explain what we did wrong? That's, that's the big thing. It's just we want to know what we can do to prevent this from happening in the future. Because, well, hey, let's face it. Who wouldn't want to get paid for giving their opinions? And this is important here. Now, if it was done for something hateful, something like that, that needs to be clearly defined there. If there is intellectual property and that's the issue, just let folks know so they don't do it again. That's all. Just give us a heads up. Don't need to just copy strike the channel down. That's not cool. But here's the thing. There seems to be an issue. It seems to have been going on for a while. Jeremy is bringing up a lot of good points. You don't got to agree with the guy to acknowledge dude's got a point. This is on Games Industry. Update! Sony has identified individuals responsible for The Last of Us 2 leaks saying they were not affiliated with Sony or Naughty Dog. Now, maybe this is true, maybe it's not. Oh, so we found out where the leak was from fact that our videos are being taken down simply over opinions now that's a problem bounding into comics a great website and this story broke two days ago i believe rumor the last of us part two employees could lose jobs if they voice concerns on its story now i'm not a game developer nor do i work in the industry however as far as i know for certain industries if you're working on something very specific that's intellectual property and especially if it has yet to be released i'm Pretty sure NDAs are a thing. Now, I have no idea if this is the case or what it may be, but again, that sounds to have been a rumor, and I'm unsure about these people's employment contracts. More evidence would be needed, but I mean, that's up for people to disclose. It's up to them. And that falls right in line, right in line with what is going on with the whole entire situation with The Last of Us 2 and videos being taken down. If you criticize, if you say anything that, that isn't, you know, uh, the narrative, if it's not positive, we're going to take you down. This stuff is insane. If actually unreleased IP photos, videos, and stuff like that is being broadcast, I'm pretty sure the studio would be working with YouTube because, I mean, they've gotten pretty good at looking for these things. However, just the discussion of it, if no IP was shown, and this is just discussing what is, at this point, public knowledge for many people, is the thing. They can ask you, however, to strike something down by the tools given for somebody discussing something that's publicly available, that sounds like a problem. Also, Memeology, friend of the channel, his Twitter account is being uh, reported, mass reported, hit with DMCA strikes. 
It's crazy. They're just silencing everybody. But, but, well, well, not everyone. A lot of people. This is absolutely insane. Here's another YouTuber that I just became familiar with, uh, Murta. I think that's how I'm saying her name correctly. I apologize if not, but uh, she has about 4,000 subscribers. Here she got copyright struck on hers for talking about The Last of Us. This is insane. This is absolutely crazy. And respect to her because she's standing her ground. She's not going to back down. And I respect her so much for that. This is insane. It is crazy. And it's happening to so many people. My goodness, Ryan Kennel now from Geeks and Gamers on his personal channel has two strikes. He has two strikes on his channel. What? What is going on? How is this even happening? Uh, anyone else? And then Anomaly Inc. got hit. You know, just some guy got hit. Mr. H Reviews got hit. This is crazy. Heel versus Babyface as got hit. He's gotten one strike and two claims. And he made a beautiful video talking about it. It was fantastic. I've watched these people. The CEO of the company that is claiming our videos. And I mean, again, there's probably something else to this. But I did make a video the other day talking about how I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to compromise. I am not going to let this go. And the CEO of this company, this, this shady company, that's the spirit, Jeremy. Again, probably something completely unrelated. But when Force Ghost Jeremy made me aware of this account, I went to, I just went. I was like, well, let me see what this guy's about. And I see that's the spirit, Jeremy. I'm like, whoa, that's strange. So again, I don't know what that means. I'm just saying I found it to be a little interesting. I highly doubt it's about me. I highly doubt it. I'm not that important. Oh, so he supports you. So you have identified a problem and let's work to solve it, right? What else could the problem possibly be? Gangnam Style And if opinions can be used as a, a copyright weapon, then we're all in trouble. Every single one of us are in trouble. And that is a reality that we all have to wake up to. If you are supporting opinions, allowing your channel to be struck down, that is a massive problem. So here's the thing. Regardless of anything, we need clarification. If this is a valid tool... And if it is to be used correctly, we need to understand how it works. Let's try to solve this problem. There's a problem. People are getting copy struck. That's not cool. Let's see how we can correct this issue. I mean, we can always just turn into a dumpster fire. They're each their own. When the party was nice, the party was bumping. Hey, and everybody have a ball. Until the fellas start in calling.